Hello world, and welcome to another episode of We love to talk about exciting subjects in science, medicine, robotics, astronomy, futuristic ideas, music, or anything interesting in the news. So let's get into it. Did you know in the news? How Europe's new digital law would change the internet. The Brussels effect may fizzle when the long-awaited Digital Service Act is put into action. Now, most people think of Facebook as a social network and Google as a search engine, but tech geeks see this service as platforms, vast online territories that users inhabit. The companies that run them have mostly been free to make the rules in these digital spaces. But on August 25th, they will lose much of their sovereignty when the rules of the European Union's Digital Service Act are put into action. What would this mean for internet users? Not just in Europe, but worldwide. With the DSA and its sister legislation, the Digital Marks, the Digital Markers, the Digital Markets Act, I apologize, which will also be phased in over the coming months, the EU aims to change the oversight of large online platforms. Until now, regulators have tried to fix the problems, such as the spread of disinformation and violations of antitrust rules after the fact. The new laws are meant to help them get ahead of the game by setting clear rules that online platforms must follow. Now it's time for analogy time. Now, let's imagine the internet as a big playground where Facebook and Google are the biggest players. Now, there's a new set of rules in town called the EU Digital Service Act, DSA. These rules are like the referees making sure the game is fair for everyone on the playground. The DSA affects not only Europe, but the whole internet world. It's designed to keep those big players in check so they can make just make the so they just can't make the rules up as they go along. So what are these changes uh, we're talking about? Well, these big companies have to be more transparent about how they control content and how they use technology. They need to let users know or let users report illegal stuff easily. And if something gets removed, they have to explain why. No more creepy ads based on personal info, especially for the kids. Now, companies like Facebook and Google are already making adjustments to follow these rules. They want to show you how they're handling your content and ads. But here's the catch. Enforcing these rules might be tricky. Companies could argue in court and fines could be massive. So the DSA is like the new rule book for the internet playground, making things safer and fair. But whether everyone plays by these rules, well, that's the big question. So what do you think about this, guys? Let me know. Until next time, stay safe and I'll talk to you soon.